Excuse me, you're parked in the wrong space. Uh, good afternoon to you too. I really don't need your greeting. You don't steal from me and then greet me. Uh, steal? Yes, you stole my parking space. Uh, last I checked, this isn't your designated parking space. This, this is, is my it? flat, so this is automatically my parking space. Okay, but there's a difference between it being close to your flat and actually being your designated parking space. Are you just so trying to be annoying? I'm just stating facts. Just move. Well, unfortunately, I can't. I just parked and you're behind me, so I think I'm going to leave. Uh, have a good day. I, I can hear that. Well, that was the idea. So annoying. He's just trying to bring out the bush to you. And you're trying to be better. You say no. I like, like you when you're ruthless. Hello. Hey, gorgeous. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. Just tired and slightly irritated. What's up? Mm, it's not that my neighbor is so annoying. Parking space while I you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. I just, I just stretched out a bit and then I just felt this pain in my back. I wish I could get a massage now. What's stopping you? Uh, let me see. Distance, traffic, time. You know there is something called home service. Honey, that's not even possible. These things you usually have to book your appointment 24 to 48 hours before. I still think you can get a massage. It is not possible. Alright? Oh, you have little faith. Hold on, there's someone at the door. You cheeky! <laughs> come here! Really? Uh, Why didn't you just tell me you were coming? Uh, hmm? Your home train misses. It's your here. Service. Oh my goodness, I'm happy. Mm. Well, I think I should have more faith now. Oh, you should. Mm. So, now that I'm here, are you ready for my yes. services? Oh, I'm ready. <laughs> Let's go. Well, you should have just told me you were here. Why did you have to play me like that? I just wanted to surprise you. Wow, well, I'm surprised. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Did I sleep that long? Uh, well, after the eventful night you had, I figured I shouldn't wake you up early. <laughs> you wouldn't blame me now, would you? But I had the best misuse ever. I tried. I tried. Mm. Anyway, I... I mean... Mm. It's just so good. I mean, you outdid yourself. What? Mm. Babe, you have did yourself. Glad this you is like amazing. It. What? I love it. I feel like the happiest girl in the world. <laughs> <laughs> then you will be happier. About <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, should I? No, no, no. I'll do myself. Okay. <laughs> okay. Mm. from the very first day I set my eyes on you. And I've loved you ever since. 
nothing will make me happy than to spend the rest of my life with you. And I will be happier if you agree to spend the rest of your life with me. Oh. Oh. I don't know what to say. Yes. Oh, yes. Yes. Of course. Yes. <laughs> Just... Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, yes. Thank you. Thank you. I will be there. I will be there in exactly 45 minutes. Where are you? I'm on my way. Just hold the fort for me, all right? That is if the fort will agree to be held. MD has already asked of you. Tell the MD Twice. that I'm coming. Tell the MD I'm on my way and I'm stuck in traffic. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Esosa, please, you need to move your car. Uh, How are you going to block me knowing fully while I go to work very early in the morning? Excuse me, madam, you know that you're constituting a nuisance, right? And you know you're peace. constituting an inconvenience, right? I had nowhere else to park. Well, you should have parked outside. Practice what you preach. Well, you're going to have to wait. I have... I, I have to what? Well, I'm taking a shower, except you want me to come out naked. No, 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 don't, don't. That's what I thought. So just wait. Well, hurry up! This is not happening. Oh, this is not happening. Where is she? Where is she? Well, sir? I said, where is she? She's on her way, sir. She, she was over here. You said this 15 minutes ago. Um, yes, sir, but so she's caught up in traffic. She should have factored in such circumstances before this meeting and left her house earlier than usual. Eh? <sighs> Mr. Oloniko is here, sir. Just let him come in. Ah, GD! <laughs> You're welcome, you're welcome, sir. Sir. Um, welcome, sir. Welcome, sir. Please. Thank you. Please have a seat, sir. True hell and high waters. Oh. Nasty traffic around my office like that. Oh. That's what we see these days in our city. <laughs> we should be used to it by now, yeah. maybe. Yes, um, actually... Uh... Indeed. So, are we good to go? Oh, yes, yes, in a bit. One of our staff is actually on her way, coming. All right, then. I have a meeting for 12. Oh, sure, 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 sure. It won't encroach into it. Just give us a couple of minutes. This meeting will start, and then um, we'll be through way before your other meeting time. All right, then. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <sighs> I'm on my way. I'm driving. Just five minutes. Everybody's waiting for you right now. Tell them I'm, I'm, I'm on my way. Five minutes. Five minutes better be five, or else. Let him know I'm on my way, five minutes. I'm on my way, wait, I'm driving. I need to make an urgent call. Hmm? Okay. Sure, sure. I thought you said she was here already. Yes, sir. Sir, let me just do this. Chola. But I worked with her on this project, and I know just as much as she does. Why won't you let me take over? Because it is primarily hers, not yours. Besides, I think she, she will always make a better presentation. And I agree to that. Ah, 
<laughs> We've been waiting for 15 to 20 minutes. Oh. And um, Miss Ejofo is nowhere to be sent. Oh, oh, oh GD, not to worry. John, I thought uh, we discussed this earlier. But yes. she's not here yet. And Mr. Olaleko has another meeting. Why don't I just do the presentation? I mean, it's imperative that he makes this other meeting. After all, it's important as well. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I think she's right. She has a point. <laughs> Shall we? Oh, yes, uh, Sarah, please, can you excuse me for a few minutes? Um, thank you, Sarah. <laughs> I have a problem. This me, I think these people have been trying to miss this morning. Well, it's looking like they're, like they're succeeding because Jola is about to take over the presentation. What? Yes. Empty tried to stop her, but you know how she can be. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. You're wearing slippers. Oh, forget the slippers. Someone is about to steal my thunder and I'll be damned to let her. So, sir, um, as regards the campaign, I came up with a couple of strategies. That's Good morning, social. sirs. Yeah. Um, I apologize for my delay. I had an unforeseen accident. I am sorry. I was starting to think if you were ever going to make it at all. Oh, well, I did. And I'm here to carry on with the presentation, bearing further obstacles. Madam? By all means, go ahead. Thank you, sir. Um, would you mind, please? What you have with you is the blueprints of how the campaign would go. I... What you have with you is the blueprint of how the campaign would go. This is not going to be a conventional promotion because this project is a very sentimental one. It has a very sentimental value. So we're going to try to emotionally connect. She nearly cost us a client, and all she gets is a slap on the wrist. She did save the day at the end, didn't she? I was already set up to do that before she barged in and just took over, as I, usual. I did explain to you it was her project. It was her idea. If there was anyone taking over, it was you. Was I should even be considering punishing you for that stunt you pulled back there. Yes, come in. I got a call today from Trident Multinationals. They've taken interest in our firm and how we work. They will be meeting with us to run their campaign for them. Oh, it'll be a dream to have their portfolio. Ah, yes. I know you know what that means. I need you both to put in the work. Of course. I'll do my best, sir. No. You're going to do much more than your best. They've sent a brief of what they want, which I'll email to both of you. Okay, sir. Read it, go through it, come up with something extraordinary. We'll see who gets the pitch, okay? Yes, sir. Yes, Doris. Oh, yeah, patch them through. And please mix that tea again for me. Okay, thank you. I'll be all ladies. Thank you, sir.
Let me explain, Didi. 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 Babala the warrior. Um, Didi, about the whole leave incident. I'm sorry. Okay. Actually, that I was helping. It's fine. I'm sorry too. All right. I probably overreacted. Actually, I definitely overreacted yesterday. I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, I get it. Everyone is just trying to help. I just don't like feeling useless. But I'm sorry. All right. It's fine. I know I have to go and apologize to Sosa. I was hard. Um, him. yes, about that. What did you do? See, he said he was trying to call you to apologize and you're not picking. Then he called me to be sure you had gotten here and said he wanted to come and apologize to you in person. What? I didn't do anything. Mm -hmm. But since you're still on the subject, Mamma Mia, that is some eye candy, baby. Stop it. What is so cute? Are you. Ah, have it. Mm -hmm. Hi. Hi. I um, just wanted to come by. And um, apologize. To say I'm sorry, I had no right to do what I did. It's fine. Actually, it's not fine. 
But I'm sure your heart was in a good place, so I, I forgive you. Thank you. Um, how did it go? Well, as I was fighting not to be granted leave, I was put on compulsory leave. <laughs> you know, you have to be the only woman that I know whose company is literally forcing to go on leave. Well, what can I say? I'm one of a kind. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, okay. Okay, hold on. Just I'm, Oh my god. Just wanna make sure you're comfortable. Listen, hey, hey, hey. Stop. I'm pregnant. Not invalid, alright? Oh, oh, alright. This can I'm fine. Okay. <sighs> no, here. Can you like What are you doing now? Yes, hold on. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh, So I read somewhere that um, this helps to alleviate stress. Well, that's only if you're doing it right and you're... Right there. Yeah? Right there. Oh, that feels good. <laughs> and that actually feels very, very good. Well, it's going to feel a whole lot better once the food is ready. And yes, I know, you know, your mail was... It was, was alright. Trust me when I say mine's going to blow. I see. Yes. <laughs> okay. But you know what I don't understand? What? How do you have so much time? <laughs> I mean, you don't have a job? <laughs> well, let's just say that I do a lot of my work from home. Ever since the pandemic, I've been working from home. Oh, nice. So, what do you do? Um, I'm a full stack developer. Ooh, fancy. <laughs> so, you're what, a tech guru? Or what? Do you have a thing for tech gurus? I, I did not. I mean, because if you did, I <laughs> Wow, <can't>. okay. <laughs> Are you expecting me? No. Okay. Okay. I'm not expecting anyone. It's all right. I got you, okay? Who is it? Whew. That feels good. Uh, boss, um... <laughs> Excuse Diddy's me. really resting. She doesn't want to be disturbed right now. I don't understand. In my own babe's house. Excuse oh me, please. Goodness. What's going on here? Is it that this guy is now living here? Austin. Austin. Not now. I've had a very long day. Not now. No, of course you have. You've had a long day. When this guy is always here 24-7. Doing God knows what to you and, and draining you out. Oh, oh, wh wait, what? I'll just be in the kitchen. Uh, check on my food. What was that supposed to mean? You know, at this point, I'm, I'm very curious. Is this child really mine? Oh, okay, so this is why you've been hiding him from me. Did you just... You... <laughs> I will pretend. Like I didn't hear what you just said. This guy is... You always... better... Austin. You better watch your next statement. Because if you accuse me again, I promise you, you will not see this baby. That's exactly what I thought. Now, like I said, I don't have time for this. I'm tired, okay? So you can just, the same way you entered. I didn't ask you to... Titi, Titi, what are you doing? Titi, this child would be happier if he or she grows up in a two-parent household. Mm. <laughs> Please, for the sake of this child, let's get back together. Ah, I see. Now, point of correction. Hmm? Any relationship that has to be maintained for the sake of a child is bound to be miserable. And trust me, that child will sense that misery and equally be miserable. And 
That is definitely not what I want for my child. I want my child to grow in a happy place. And that is definitely not with you. So this is your happy place. Now we. Eh? Oh, I'm sorry, man. I think I should go. You are still waiting. You are still. You are, you are, you are, you are, please, now. Uh, Papa. Did I make her? Mama, it's not what it looks like. I didn't say anything, no. You don't have to say anything. I can see it in your eyes. It's just the neighbor trying to help. Neighbor, on your mouth, you are. If you need help, why didn't you tell the father of your child because to come I and help you? I don't me? need his help. His help stresses me out. Say, Didi, your father was not the most faithful man. Sometimes he goes astray with the young girls living around. But wherever he goes, mm. he will always come back to me mm. as the mother of his children. Mm. See, Didi. Mm. Austin may not be the most perfect man, mm. but I want you to know that he will always come back to you as the mother of his child. Please. Mm. <laughs> so when he goes eh, and gets STD and brings it back to me, what then? See, why not encourage him to use protection? Ah. Hey! <laughs> Are you, What's funny? Wait, wait, Mama. Are you listening to yourself? I should encourage the man who has sworn loyalty to me to use protection when he wants to cheat. Oh. Eh? See, men are naturally polygamous in nature. You can't take that away from I them. I disagree. Mama, I disagree. <sighs> Not all men cheat. I have seen men that don't cheat and I have seen women that cheat. It is not, you, you, you're you not born naturally polygamous. Okay, it's not a gender thing. It's an individual thing. So instead of you to swallow your pride, go back to Austin, settle, mm. and settle down. Mm. So you want to raise this child on your own? Mom, is that what you want? Exactly. Exactly. I will raise this child on my own. I will suffer and raise this child on my own because I will not have headache over a man that I'm worried about him cheating or not. Or for what? Marriage, please spare me that. Did you you're very stubborn? Mm. You are very stubborn. What are you doing here? I um, thought I told you to stop showing up here unannounced. It was not unannounced. I announced it. Ah. Right, congratulations on your engagement, by the way. And what are you doing here? Isn't your wedding this weekend? It's so sad. At least one last night before I get married. What? For all time's sake. No. Man, why are you not even for me holier than thou? I mean, the both of us know these are the kind of services you render. Services? Do you even hear yourself? I, I am not rendering any of the services, and there's no reason whatsoever that I will be sleeping with you when your wedding is this weekend. <laughs> wait, wait. You're in love. I mean, what? I can't believe it. I'm not what you're talking about. 
look at you. It is written all over you. You are in love. And where are you coming from your neighbor's place at this time? That is not any of your business whatsoever. I just need you to leave. If you can, can you just do that? Look, young man, I don't know what your plan is. Why do you want to swoop and take care of another man's child? No, huh? No one is swooping to take care of anybody else's baby. Didi and I are not even together. Shut your mouth! Hey, shut your mouth! Shh! Is that how you took mouth when your elders are still talking? Is that how? <clears throat> huh? Sorry, ma. Huh? Uh-huh. That's more like it. As I was saying, before I was rudely interrupted. Whatever your plan is, if anything, if anything happens to my daughter and my grandchild, to God, you have me to contend with. You see me like this? I will finish you. You are in love with a pregnant lady who is not even carrying your child. <laughs> How the mighty have fallen. Can you just leave? Can, can, can you leave? <laughs> what do you want? Oh, my mother has called you to break the news that your little plan to get her to convince me about you failed, right? Because I know you sent her. I come in peace. I'm sorry for yesterday. I'm sorry for messing up our beautiful relationship. I'm sorry for trying to take away your choice when I found out about the baby. For getting your mother involved. For accusing you with your neighbor. For everything, really. I'm just sorry. I'm listening. I just want a chance to make it right. I thought about what you said and you were right. Even though my parents never separated or got divorced, we could all smell how unhappy they were and it took a toll on us, the kids. I don't want that to happen to my child. Okay, so what are you saying? I'm saying you're right. We don't have to be together. I don't deserve you anyway. But we can still raise a happy child together while we both face our various lives. You know, this is the most sensible thing you have said in a very long time. All I ask is that you please carry me along. Let me be involved. Let me be his or her father. You are the father. I know, but it doesn't feel like it. Let us go to the appointments and all those things together instead of you going with a sister. My sister has nothing to do with this, all right? He just helps out, that's all. Come on, you don't believe that, do you? You guys are clearly in love with each other. What? But no one to tell you. No, we're not. Okay, yeah, if you say so, shall just let me be involved? All right, then I will... Uh... I'll open up more, okay? I'm sorry for trying to shut you out of the baby's life. It's fine. I deserved it. Anyways, you should get some rest. We'll, we'll talk to you later. All right. <laughs> in love. There's no way Asasa and I are in love. I mean, we don't even behave like we're in love. What are you talking about love? He's just a nice guy, that's all. So real, never knew love could be so sweet. You made me once again believe in true love. All the sad days disappear. 
So real, never knew love could be so sweet. You made me once again believe in true love. All the sad days disappear, cause you make my life so easy. You know, this is honestly getting quite frustrating. I'm 10 days past my past my delivery date. Just calm down, okay? Calm down. I don't understand. My presentation is on Monday. I'm supposed to have given birth, so by now I will be resting, preparing for my presentation. You're still thinking about that? Of course I'm still thinking about that. That's a career-changing project, Austin. Don't even ask me that again. What did the doctor say? That it's normal. It happens. I... They're not even categorically giving me a date as to when I would give birth. They don't know. That's the more reason why they should have checked you in. Well, they suggested I, I checked in, but I, I decided I, I, I didn't want to check in. I, I, I wanted to come home. TD. No, you, you don't expect me to just go and sit on some bed in the hospital waiting for the baby to come. You can, and you should. Well, that's not going to happen. <sighs> okay, you know what? You know what? You know what's going to happen? Right after my presentation on Monday, I will go to the hospital. Huh? Did he? Just enough, okay? And that's what's going to happen. Don't worry, everything will be fine. I just really need to... On my mind, my energy is on that presentation. I need to kill it. I really just want you to know that... So, um, the campaign will get... 
Kitty. Are you all right? Is she in labor? Yeah, she's in labor. Please move your car. Listen, listen, please let me go. Okay. Just take it easy, okay? Listen, hold on, hold on. Okay. I got you. That's okay. Just hurry. Just hurry. Come on. Wait! She has delivered. <laughs> Mother and child? Oh, they're good. Both of them are good. Thank you. Oh, All right. <laughs> yes! Sudden, you have a nickname for him, my dear. See, if you have as many near death experiences as we did today driving to get to you, you will burn by force. But is it good? Okay, hey. I love to see it. Ah, I'm so happy. It's so like you've done this before. <laughs> Push it for how many? Please, she looks like me. Couple copy. Me. Congratulations! Thank you. Oh, oh sorry. 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 Congratulations, my love. Yeah. Oh, that is baby. Oh. Thank you. You're so beautiful. Jeez. Congrats, my love. So. I messed up the presentation, right? No, you did not. The flowers are from the clients. What? Yes. So, apparently they were impressed with the little you did before you got into labor. Best news, they are willing to wait for you to be done with your maternity leave before they move ahead with the project. What? Help me. Are you... Are you don't, don't leave me. They said they don't want any other person on the project except you. So we're putting it on hold until you get back. That's never happened. Never. Well, no other person is as exceptional as you. Yeah. You made me once again believe in true love. All the savage disappear. Cause you make my life so easy. Ibu nye, Ibu 
and I decided we co-parent. Yeah, so we'll be taking care of her 50% each. So at least we can both focus on our careers. Right. But who's gonna take care of you? Newsflash, I'm no longer pregnant. <laughs> You need somebody who will tell you how beautiful you are every morning. You need somebody who will massage your shoulders when you, you're tense. You need someone who will cook for you so you never have to lift a finger. And most importantly, you need somebody who will kiss you after a very stressful day. So is this your application? <laughs> well, yes, it is. Well, you're hired. <laughs> Thank you. Well, in case you didn't get the memo, some would say I went into labor at work, so oh, yeah. I'm really stressed out. Oh, yeah? Yeah, so I think I would need a... One. Never knew love could be so real. Never knew love could be so sweet. You made me once again believe in true The sad days disappear. Thanks for watching.